So as many of you know, I bought two new trucks, mainly for my YouTube channel and my business. One of which is this one. This is gonna probably be the primary one that I drive for the whole venue here with fishing and boat building, bait making, whatever else we choose to do on this channel, this truck's gonna be there. I only have a few gripes about that. It is the rims that are the biggest pet peeve. So we changed that in this video. We actually turned this very stock S model Titan into something that looks pretty badass. It has some like cheap side rails for hundred bucks on eBay and we got a pretty good thing going on. Right now we're gonna show you step by step how to DIY this out of the front of your garage to paint your rims correctly. We'll start with the materials and then we'll go right into it. With just the simple tools in your car to take the wheel off and a quick trip to AutoZone, you can have all the materials and everything you need to prep your rims. It is very simple. For starters, we'll need wheel cleaner. We'll also need dish soap. We'll need some microfiber cloths throughout the entire project. We'll also need some 400 grit sandpaper. That's wet sandpaper. We need acetone to finish the prep right before we paint it. We'll be painted with VHT wheel paint, matte black, and matte clear. We'll also need a respirator and some gloves if you get them. Give a nice, generous, copious amount of it at the beginning. We'll be rewashing it and then we'll be respraying it. Step. We're gonna, it says on the instruction to let it sit for two minutes. There's better stuff out there, but this is the best stuff I could find it out of zone. Four hundred grit sandpaper. A little bit's all you need. While it's still wet, we're gonna go ahead and use that to rough it up. If you're like trying to like strip down to bare metal, then you would use two twenty or a higher grit, and then four hundred. But we're literally just trying to rough up the surface. We're gonna use this surface as already the primer. You know, so it's just we're just really roughing it up so the new paint has something to grip on. We're gonna dry this off the best we can. And then we're gonna get a microfiber cloth and some acetone, go over it once more to get rid of as many contaminants as we possibly can before we put it to the paint. And it's just gonna clean project. Specifically, that's what it is, a clean project residue. See, the rim's pretty clean. Sometimes you'll, you'll wipe it, you'll wipe something that looks completely clean and it's black on your rag and, and you wonder how that is. It's those, all those residual contaminants you can't see, but we actually did a pretty good job of prepping this so far. So that's gonna be a nice, good paint over. We're gonna do that to the rest of these. We'll get to painting. We're using VHT wheel paint. We have them in hot water to expand the molecules. As we have that done, we're gonna shake it for a full minute. And then we're gonna apply two light coats, one medium coat, and then we have matte clear coat. And we're gonna do a pretty wet coat on top of the, on top of the final three coats. Four coats total, three black, one clear and the end result should look pretty good. After a full 60 seconds of shaking, make sure you give just the lightest coat. We're not really trying to coat the entire wheel all black with this coat. The first coat, if you coat it too heavy, it will have splotches and it will run. Um, and so it's very important that you lay this coat down just very, very lightly, just enough for it to cover the wheel so that you can have a good painting surface for the next coat. By the way, do not worry about covering up your tire. The paint will not stick to your tire. Especially if you have some sort of tire dressing on it, there's no way, it'll wash right off. If you don't get your initial coat good and it runs or it splotches, you can take time and re-go over it with acetone, take all that paint off and re-prep it. But definitely get the first coat good before you go any further because if not, then everything else is like putting lipstick on a pig. And now you can see we're being a little bit more free with our coat. Again, have a little bit more confidence that the paint will lay out better. This actually lays out really well for the time it sits and it has a pretty quick turnaround time. Some paints pay attention to the directions of whatever paint you use because some require all coats within four hours, you have to wait an hour between coats. This one said wait 10 minutes between coats. It laid out really nice and it dried very quickly. So this uh, VHT paint, I'm pretty happy with it. 
Instructions say to have all coats done within an hour. So we're gonna do three coats of black and one coat of matte clear. It's saying wait 10 to 15 minutes between each coat. All coats within an hour. This stuff lays out actually very well for only having a 10 minute dry time. I know like paints that uh, take way longer to dry, which would ideally have a longer time to lay out and they don't lay out as nice as this stuff. So the VHT paint, it's legit. And of course, we don't want to forget the hubcaps. The last coat is the clear coat. This is a matte clear coat finish. So it's gonna look real glossy when we put it on. We're gonna put it on very copious, like we're doing our last coat of black. We're gonna put it on just as thick, maybe a little bit thicker. This will be a nice protective finish and it'll dry at a matte finish. You can get gloss clear coat and it will make the paint pop out more glossy, but I just want a matte finish for this project. The clear coat not only makes the paint job look better, but it adds that extra layer of protection that you're really gonna need in this instance. Remember, after you're done with all coats, to leave your tires sitting for a few hours so the paint will not only set, but it'll cure a little bit. So when you put it on and you touch it, you don't end up leaving a fingerprint in the finish. Other than that, in a few hours, we're gonna be mounting this on and we're ready to go. I'm really happy with how this turned out how easy it was, it was relatively low risk, and if, even if I hadn't laid it out initially this nice, I could have just taken it off and resprayed it. So super low risk to do this. There wasn't really much to lose for this because the rims are so ugly, so it was a win-win no matter what. If I had to botch the rims, I would have just had to go buy new rims. But either way, those rims are getting changed, now they look much better, I saved myself a ton of money, and I'm very very happy with the lookout. Hey everyone, if you like this project, please subscribe, comment, leave a like and a share. It helps out more than you'll ever know on this video. If you want to help support projects like this, please check me out on Patreon. I know most of my content is DIY for fishing, but I like to break into other things like this. So let me know how you thought this video went and if I should continue videos like this. Thank you.